Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today we are going to be taking a look at VeChain and specifically the price action of the VET coin. As we get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really appreciate that. If you are new, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here. Right, with that said, done out of the way, let's get into some technical analysis here for VeChain. Um, so we're going to start things off with this weekly chart. We're going to just talk about what's going on here. Uh, obviously, we have seen significant rise in value since March of 2020 through to April of 2021. This is 18,295%. Uh, um, so obviously VeChain has uh, has actually been moving quite well uh, in the last uh, year and a bit there. Uh, obviously we've gone into this fourth wave correction. I know a lot of people get frustrated, say that VeChain isn't doing anything, but uh, actually this is one of the top gainers uh, overall at 18,295%. Within the portfolio, this is definitely one of the ones that we've been uh, benefiting the most from. Now, Obviously, this fourth wave correction has taken many by surprise, but again, this is quite a natural thing. We can see that there was good motion to the upside, and you have to have these motions of cooling down. Okay, we had the second wave, and we've had the fourth wave. This means that we are going into that fifth wave nice and strongly to finish the bull run, um, and we are topping out at about $1.01. One cent. This represents about 713% and is the 4.236 extension level of the Fibonacci retracement tool. Okay, so there's nothing um, you know, unusual about this. This is exactly what uh, to expect. And this is something we've been talking about pretty much since we started the channel. We did want to see a few things happen uh, a little bit earlier on, specifically around here. Find the good bouncing area, see us topping out here, and then see this correction come in. And then obviously that allows us to see this fifth wave. So everything has kind of gone ahead uh, as expected. Nothing unusual. Uh, it can be frustrating if you're buying at the top of three. Uh, and as long as you're holding, you're still in for, I think it's about 250% gains to go from, from top of three to top of five. Okay. The other thing we need to obviously talk about here on the, this a weekly chart is the fact that we were overbought during this wave one. We were overbought during wave three, oversold on the correction waves, and now we're obviously heading to the overbought area as we go and finish this fifth wave off. So again, uh, looking to repeat these motions that we've seen before, everything is lining up nicely. There's nothing deviating from plan here. Okay, let's jump down into our daily view uh, as we go through the update. Now, there's a couple of things that are interesting about the daily view that we need to obviously talk about in the same way that we've actually talked about uh, XRP, right? There is an ABC correction here. Um, as before, you know, we start to see things really heat up nicely for, um, for VeChain here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab hold of our um, ABC uh, correction wave. And we can see it's from the top here down to this low up to our B. And what we're looking for is a C, okay, a C wave correction. And we think it's going to be somewhere in this kind of range down here, but it could be a little bit lower. So we'll get onto the um, hourly and we'll just enhance that a little bit in a moment. We'll see if that can go down much lower. Um, so obviously you can see that this is going here. Now, obviously this ABC correction wave, it doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to completely see that happen. It, we might actually never lose this support, the strong support line that we've been tracking and actually just continue to grow to the upside in validating this altogether. Okay, so it's important that we do use our support and our resistance lines um, more so than our technical indicators like ABCs or Elliott Theory. You have to use it all in conjunction with each other to give ourselves a pretty good accurate picture of what to expect. Now, an ABC like with XRP is on the cards. It's something that we might see kind of finish off um, before we absolutely go nuts uh, uh, to the upside here with, with uh, VeChain and VET. So um, we're mindful, right? We're looking to go higher than our wave B. Okay, and uh, in order to do that, we need to go above, actually a little bit higher than where I marked it. It uh, comes in at 13.8. So as long as we go higher than 13.8, that would invalidate all of this here. Um, and then we can be very confident that we're just pushing up ahead. Okay, if we uh, you know do not go any higher than this and we lose the support, then look for those lower lows. We're looking at around 9 cent, I think, on the hourly. I'll get into that in a moment. Um, and then we'll start to see a really good rise in value here for uh, for VeChain. Um, so otherwise, everything on this daily chart is kind of as expected. We obviously have the main um, 618702 Fibonacci retracement tool. This is the one that, uh, you know, uh, area that we're looking to try to get a closed candle above, right? Um, there's two areas here. The one that you see, uh, the Fibonacci you see in the background, and this yellow box here, okay? This yellow box uses this high point, um, which was achieved on the 7th of May, um, down to the low point, which again uh, is down here, um, which would have been on the 
uh, 19th of May. That whole correction then actually plotted this area of interest where we want to get the closed candle just above. This comes in at 21.5 cent. So getting that closed candle above 21.5 cent is going to be key. And then from there, we'll be looking to just get above this area uh, at 23.1. And then obviously it's off to new all time highs from there. So um, VeChain has done a lot of progress so far. The correction is needed in order to allow us to continue to grow. And uh, so not to, uh, to get too disheartened by everything that's going on down here. At the moment, this is looking actually pretty good. Um, we are down in the oversold area on our daily stochastic and uh, like we're overbought with our weekly. So everything there is lined up quite nicely. Um, and of course, we have the Fibonacci retracement tool with those extensions showing $1.01. One uh, and again, you know, first target is 42 cents, 64 cents and then 87 followed by the dollar. So there's lots of progress to be made. Um, for from uh, VeChain here, and there is nothing unusual. Like right? everything is kind of going uh, up to plan. Now let's jump down into our hourly, um, and here we can see that we are getting stuck into our triangular wedge. We actually invalidated our upward trend line here briefly, um, testing it as a resistance, and then pulling back in. And now we are still inside our triangular wedge, looking for that break to the upside. Okay, so uh, in this scenario, if this holds, then we do not see C wave correction. Instead, we just get that break to the upside. Um, and you know, if we lose this and we actually break that support level, then yeah, we're expecting that C wave to come in, okay? Um, but for now, um, we're inside the triangular wedge. We'll have to see if this gets real tight and has that explosion to the upside. Um, that is overdue. Now we can see that we are heading up uh, here on the charts. Um, from a stochastic point of view, uh, we can see that we were obviously over oversold briefly as we were down in these lower areas, uh, and now we are pushing um, V chain back up. We can see that on the sort of shorter time frames uh, that it is an upward trend. Uh, we're here, okay. We can see that there's an upward trend line forming here on the real short time frame, um, and this is uh, again you can see at the bottom as well. Um, so right now this is interesting uh, to see if that pulls us right back into the zone of this triangular wedge uh, and if that holds plenty of room to grow right now and then we should uh, we should potentially get really tight and have that break that's looking pretty promising at this point and um, again we could also break down it really depends on the sentiment of the market and on that note it's important that we also check out the avide.io dashboard and see what the artificial intelligence and machine learning is also highlighting here for vchain and we can see that we're still in a3 rating so nothing has uh, has made any fun of larger scale changes here and um, the data is looking pretty good we have an a3 rating for the fear and greed index which means we are greedy but not extremely greedy and um, so again profits have been taken once we were seeing that the top of, uh, of where we were for the a wave for example um, and this is actually looking pretty interesting now we've come down a little bit uh, and plenty of room to grow on this one so still doing re really well from a fear and greed index perspective the ami had ratio uh, so liquidity no longer a problem for v chain here up at an a2 rating looking really really well um, again, nothing to really kind of be concerned with. Uh, and again, looking good. Uh, we go down to the sharp ratio, well above our 50 day average now, working really well and really hard for us. An A2 rating. So, um, really good uh, times ahead by uh, this indicator, indicating that uh, there are limited uh, risks to your rewards by uh, by investing in VeChain. So that's nice to see. Uh, we have the moving average and A2 rating. So all those moving averages are looking pretty good. The 10 day, the 50 day, the 100 day, no problems to indicate there. Um, we have an A1 for profitability, right? So it's obviously with 18,295% in gains, uh, obviously, it's an A1 rated, right? It's, uh, it's the best profitability that there is that this artificial intelligence can give. So um, nothing to really worry about when we take a look at the Avide.io dashboard. Everything here is looking perfectly fine. Nothing to kind of worry about, and um, which is always nice to see. So uh, everything here is looking pretty good. We're obviously looking to get this uh, try and get a wedge completed. And we'll look for the break, but we'll also have to see if there's anything that in the sentiment that basically takes us down. Uh, it's unlikely. I do feel that we are more than likely going to actually continue the push to the upside uh, and have that break and get that explosion that VeChain needs. Um, and in doing so, we would invalidate our C wave correction. You know, it don't do not necessarily think it's going to actually come in, um, but I wanted to kind of call it out because it was technically there. So I wanted to just kind of make sure everyone was aware that there is this C wave correction possibly on the cards, but there's a couple of levels of support that if hold would mean that we would never see it. And I think that try and get a wedge is also gonna be the catalyst to help us push to the upside. This is, um, you know, again, because we are oversold on the stochastic, the one that's more price sensitive. Um, and again, our weekly is also in a very, very good position here. 
uh, in terms of where things are going. So um, although the uh, you know the C wave can be a little bit daunting for some people potentially, um, it's important that we do zoom out. We take a look at where things are going. We've had 18,295% gains from March of 2020 uh, through to April of 2021. We've got another 700% gains to be had here on the cards as we finish this bull run in a nice, a really strong way before we go into a bear market and start accumulating more ahead of 2025. Um, so guys, hopefully you have found this brief update on VeChain useful and informative. If you have, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here. Guys, with this said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.